Hey, comic book community, Long Box Love Affair here. Another CGC unboxing, only one, only one this time. This is my Scotty Young part two. Uh, and it's part two because back in the beginning of the pandemic, back when CGC started doing these signings, uh, I, they had a Scotty Young one. And I had sent off Avengers versus X-Men number zero, I think it was. Uh, and it was the Midtown Comics variant. All the X-Babies were on there. All the Avenger babies were on there. It was probably one of his first, if not the first, baby cover of, of Marvel Comics that they did with Scotty Young, which now he is uh, famous, infamous for. So that cover was busy. And I had the, him do a ghostwriter on the back. And there was like a section this big that had white on it that I could get that signature on. So, and that sketch. So he did a ghostwriter, pretty good, but like, let's be honest, it got, it got um, hidden in that cover. So I decided, I was like, if he ever does another signing, I'll get a Spider-Man. So I went out and found Superior Spider-Man number one, the variant cover, it has like a Swiss cheese moon in the background, Spider-Man swinging, uh, he's like a baby, uh, and, and uh, a lot of blank space. It's a blue, baby blue cover. So that's what's in here. I had it pressed at CGC, so it took a while. Uh, I, I didn't have time to send it off to it, get any sort of other pressing, and I just uh, wanted to get this done. So I don't know the grade. I thought there were a couple of kinks in the book that may have downgraded it from a 9.8. I'm not sure. Maybe the pressing helped. Maybe it didn't. But frankly, I was just interested in that sketch. So did Scotty Young do me dirty? Uh, I don't know. D what does the sketch look like? So I, I feel like some of the sketches are hit or miss. Art Adams did big sketches on his, on his blank covers that people gave him. I thought it looked like it was well worth the money. I did not send in for Art Adams. I am mad that I didn't do that. I sent in for Mark Silvestri. I put my eggs in that basket. And as, as you saw from my recent video, not terribly happy with that. I didn't like what he made for me and he didn't follow my request. And, and as some of you who saw the video noted, uh, you pay that much, you would hope the artist would uh, fulfill the request, especially since the character was one he created. It was Mr. Sinister, I asked for that. He gave me a, a Logan, an old man Logan, uh, no costume. Pretty cool sketch, but not what I was hoping for. So a little disappointed in that. But can Scotty Young redeem my attitude on this. So let us see. I wish it was a little bit more to show, but it's gonna be a really quick unboxing because it is just the one. So I, um, I've been seeing this in the, the queue, waiting for it to get graded and, and sent. It took a long time, uh, but you know, that's, that is what it is. I got panicked because I wasn't sure they had received it in time, but they did, okay. So this is the unveiling. 9-8! Yes! The pressing was worth it. And look at that sketch. Look at that sketch. I love this. I, I think this is cute. This is uh, a sexy as hell sketch from Scotty Young. Look at that Spidey connected to the Superior Spider-Man logo. This is how it's done. This is an artist that uh, is inventive with the placement of those sketches. He had a lot of open space, whereas my, my issue last time was that there was just so much on the cover, both sides of the cover, because it was the back and, uh, front and back. Um, I'm excited about this. The other idea I was having, because I saw he did uh, another sketch uh, from, at the first go around um, last year, and he had like Spider-Man waving. I thought that would have been fun too. But this is really cool. Those of you that know I'm a big Spider-Man collector. I got the Spider-Man label up here. Uh, really awesome. I, I am I'm happy about this. Yes, it's a small sketch, but the difference between this small sketch and the Mark Silvestri small sketch is that I was expecting this. I was not expecting the other. Um, but really, it's more so the character issue. Um, the, uh, yeah, so nice. Nice, nice, nice. There we go. We got some Spidey. We got some Scotty Young. He did some nice detail in there. You know, ironically enough, for as much as I love Spider-Man, most of my sketches are X-based, X-Men characters. Ooh, sorry about that. And... 
I've been trying to get more Spider-Man remarks, Spider-Man sketches. So this is this is pretty cool. And it's a cool Superior Spider-Man cover that you don't see a whole lot. The pressing was well worth it. It was like $20 extra to press it. Nine, eight. I'm not selling this book. This is mine. This is my personal collection. These are things I love and thrive on, getting these types of opportunities. So it looks great with the original cover. So that's my unboxing. That's This is the book. Uh, a 9.8. I've been doing pretty good with the grades on some of these things, especially when you have artists. You don't know if they're going to mess around or ruffle the pages on accident. But uh, yeah, so this is pretty sweet. So thanks for watching. Again, thanks for bearing with me. Uh, more videos to come. Happy holidays for everybody that, that's out there that's getting ready for the new year. And uh, looking forward to more engagements, more cons, more comic book hauls as we go. So thanks again, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.